This is a one overall team, but I'm going to win the Champions League with them. We're going to be managing Wrexham, starting off from EFL League 2, going all the way to that Champions League trophy. But as I said, with a team of one overall players, I don't know how we're going to pull this off. We're going to be allowed to make one signing every season with our budget. That's all. We also are not allowed to use the Youth Academy. I just don't know how we're going to pull this off. But let's see if we can win the Champions League with a team of one overall players. To start with, boys, a few players I just couldn't make one overall. Like, look at this guy. I've literally given him one overall on every stat, but he's still 3 rated. I mean, it's not going to make much of a difference, is it? I've also made every player in this team 18 years old, so we at least see a bit of growth from these one-rated players. Not going to lie, I'm worried for the first season. It's a good freaking thing that we can't get relegated. But yeah, we need to make a good sign and can just give us a bit of a push. And one million to spend. Let's see what we can do. I have literally spent every bit of cash we had to sign Carl Rush worth. He's a 63 rated goalkeeper and boy do we need to play like that. Literally we've got no money left but hey we can only make one shining anyways. There you go I've put a 63 rated keeper into our starting 11. That's a big dog. We're now gonna sim through this first season and just see the carnage that happens. Bro we actually won a game. Yo how did that happen? <laughs> but after that we lost final. I'm waiting to see how many goals we actually concede. Guys we're at the end of the season and as expected I think we've set some I'm short of a record for being the worst team ever in EFL League 2 history. <laughs> 17 points. Bro, we're gonna be in this video for a while. Winning the Champions League with the one overall team. What even was I thinking? But hey, we're, we're no longer a one overall team. Like, we've we, we've grown. Like, a lot of players have grown massively, and that's a good sign. Bro, our keeper scored five goals. What? Our keeper was our third top scorer? Did he actually get to play in, in the outfield? Are you kidding me? Bro, what, what's happening? 11 assists as well. That is insane. It's time for season two, boys. And we can finally make a shining, which I'm really excited about. Three million to spend. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, it's no longer a one overall team, which is great. We need a striker, basically. I don't want to be relying on Rushworth scoring goals for us. Let's bring in a striker. Who can we sign for three million? And we've got ourselves a new striker. Dom blocks him. It was so tough finding a striker, boys. No player wanted to join us. And to be honest, when he sees the surface he's going to get, he's probably going to regret joining us as well. There you go, boys. A new striker is in the team. We've got two 60-plus rated players. The rest are still terrible. Let's now see what this team can do. Let's just not finish last. That'd be a good achievement. Guys, we just got sacked. Is is this even possible? Am I am I going to fail this one overall team to the Champions League trophy challenge? But am I going to give up? Absolutely not. We've got the job back again. Let's keep a counter of how many times I get sacked. This is number one. Guys, we've been sacked again in the same season. <laughs> this is not going well. And we finish bottom of the league again with, I don't think, much better of an upgrade. We, we, we were still terrible. Player growth though this season was nutty. We've got a 26 rated player now in Angus. Gone are the days of having one overall player, so at least that went in our favor. 70 rated keeper as well. Blocks him, so our signings have done well. We're still relying on our goalkeeper to provide assists. He had nine. Blocks him did well too. Well time for season three. We're gonna be in EFL League 2 for a while at this rate. They this is our ambition, guys. We've got to keep this picture in mind and never forget. That's what we're working towards. Anyways, time for season three. We need to somehow get a big boy signing. I mean, we have four million. The wage budget is nice and I've got an idea. Could the free agent gods bless us? That's what we need at this point. I may have found an insane free agent. Is he like the next PK or something? 72 rated Spaniard. We've just signed the next PK at, at Wrexham. We've put him in the first team. I I'm sure he's worried playing with these edible players. All right, that's our one signing for this season done. Surely this season will be a bit kinder and we can maybe see a lot of growth as well. I'm genuinely thinking in this video, we might be here for the entire 15 seasons. There's sack number three. I want to cry, man. We've been sacked three times. What am I supposed to do with these team of one overall, well now 25, whatever, overall players? Let's go boys. We've made a bit of progress. We're at least not the worst team in the league. We finished second last. Wow, that, that's an achievement. One thing I'll say, player growth on some players is looking nice. So it gives me a bit of confidence for next season. But we need to start moving up divisions quick. Otherwise, Champions League, nah, that's not happening. Bro, Carl Rushworth's been the star of this video. Eight assists in this season. I'm not surprised. Bloxham's a baller. He was our top scorer again. Once again, the only way I see us getting up to, of course, the next division is by getting a better defense. And I've got an idea. Bella Kotchup, he's a quality player and he's available for free. We've got to sign him up. There you go. That's how 
shall be using our one shining for this season. Okay, finally, our backline is looking like a backline. So I'm expecting maybe we can finish mid-table and just make some good progress. All right, guys, I've just hit realization that if we keep doing the one shining per season rule, we're not going to have a big enough squad at some point, And that's going to create a problem because a lot of players are going to request to leave and everything. So we're going to have to up it from one transfer to two. So let's quickly make another shining. This should make this challenge more doable because I think on the trajectory that we were, it was like an impossible. Yo, I think we found the perfect player. Miguel Aziz, former Arsenal player, 72 rated midfielder. Let's get him on board. Surely with Miguel Aziz coming in, the team is now looking good enough to, you know, potentially get promotion. I don't know. We'll have to just wait and watch. We're actually winning games. Look at that. In December, we won four out of five games, bro. We could be going up finally. Well, at least we're not in the bottom five. Have we done it? Have we secured promotion to League One after suffering for so long? A one overall team to start with. And we're moving up divisions. We've secured promotion. Oh my God, that was so tough. And look at the team. We've got our first 80 plus rated players. Oh my God. It's it's all coming together, boys. Let's freaking go. Loxim, you legend. He went up by eight ratings this season. What even? Aziz did well too. Let's go. Now, let's move up to the next division. It's our first season in EFL League 1. My God, I think that's the longest I've ever been in EFL League 2. But time to get this team upwards and onwards. Couple of signings to make with about 8 million. I think, you know what? We can maybe get a couple of nice free agents. And I found these two guys, both 73 rated, a central midfielder and a center back. His name is Bossman. We're getting the boss man into our team. There you go. We've added a couple of really good free agents into our team. Now, that's a defense. And let's not forget a solid midfielder joining and we could be getting back-to-back -back promotions now. It's all coming together. With the new signings, let's see how we fare this season. I've got a sneaky feeling we could be getting direct promotion. We end up finishing fourth in EFL League One, which means it's the playoffs. Also, look at the growth. We're struggling with Jones in midfield, but apart from that, Angus, Paul Johnson, McFancy, and they were one overall. And now look at them. But let's see if we can make a big step to the championship or not. We need to get through Burton and Albion and we managed to beat them. Let's see if we can get the job done in this second leg, please. We lose, but it's enough. It's enough. We're going right up to the championship. Ah, that was quick. Loxham is a legend. I don't know how dynamic potential has worked for him like this, but he has become an absolute god. It's going to be our first season in the championship. Honestly, although we've got a 41 rated player, if we can replace him, I reckon we can have a team that could get direct promotion to the Premier League, but we need to work on that. We'd also probably need a new striker as well. Let's see what we can do. You know what? I, I maybe know for the striker because I kind of want to have at least three players that were one overall and of course take them to the Champions League trophy. So you know what? We'll, we'll keep Angus, McFadzian and Hall Johnson and just hope they grow quickly. Let's get a new midfielder. Just signed Antonio Blanco. 82 rated and I got him for free. All right, well, let's put him into that midfield and we're balling now. Guys, I've just found Tanganga is available for free. I can't pass up on this. I really can't. Oh my god, but I've already made one free agent signing. I can't sign him. Oh, we're gonna have to find another player to sign then. Guys, I think I want to try and still sign a player to replace the, the low-rated players we've got, because otherwise, I don't think we're getting direct promotion. I think we may have found the perfect player to sign. Ethan Led. Contract expiring. This could be the most expensive signing we've ever made. We've got exact 25 million in our budget, but we'll need to try and get a deal out of this. Let's see what happens. 20 million's my offer, and that's worked. Fair play to the board for backing me with 25 million as the budget. We're going straight up to the Premier League. With that, boys, we've signed Ethan Laird. That's a top-class signing. It also improves the balance of our bench, so I do really like that. Now time to find out if this team is good enough to get promotion to the Premier League. That might be our first trophy, boys. We're going straight up. Yo, one overall team. The entire struggle we had was literally in, in EFL League 2, but once we got out of the pit, we're now dominating. We're going straight up to the Premier League. Back to back to back promotions. Now we're talking. Player growth was nice as well. Look at our left wing back up to a 70 overall. Bro, I'm just going to keep him in the team. Yeah, I want him to be the main man for me. I really do. Angus though, he's kind of slowing down. We might need to get a new striker. Eventually, by the looks of it, we'll have like maybe one player in the team. But anyways, now time to head to the Premier League. The one overall boys are finally in the Premier League. Let's go. I'm very curious to see how we fare in the Premier League.
because although this team is good now, like we've got some ballers in here, we've still got a 70 rated left wing back and a 60 rated striker who I think we need to replace, boys, because he's 24 and he just hasn't grown enough. I can make do with McFadden. I think he's going to be literally the only one overall player who's going to be at the end game for us. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm thinking let's get a new striker. Let's get a new midfielder. The good news is the board are backing us with a budget of 80 million. What more could be us? First thing I'm doing, guys, is trying and signing Renato Sanchez from Manchester City. We need a bit of experience in this team. His contract's expiring, so I can legit get him for like 58 million, which I think is an absolute bargain. Let's try 55, and that works. And would you look at that, boys? We've got Renato Sanchez at our one overall squad. Okay, let's put Renato Sanchez in there. Look at that bench of 40 rated, 20 rated players and all. Ugh, it's gonna be tough handling that, but hey, we've got a bit of squad depth now with Hamada on the bench. We now need a new striker, but we've only got 25 million left, so I guess it's the free agents route we need to go for. Bro, look at that. Nappy Keita, Jorginho, all available for a free. That is insane. Luis Alberto as well. They're a bit too old to get into our team, so nah, we're not getting them. But I did find an insane free agent, which I reckon could be Messi's region by the looks of things. The pace is there, the dribbling, not so much, but he's 81 rated, 21 years old. He's either Messi's region or he could be Di Maria's region. But with 71 finishing, can I even convert him to a striker? I don't think he's Messi's region. Let me check. Is Messi still playing? No, he isn't. So th that's got to be Messi's region. Okay, no, I think I found Messi's region. Albert Valencia, this guy is Messi's region. Unfortunately, we can't sign him. Riveros is probably Di Maria's region. Well, we can only sign him. Well, Riveros is available for free, but the question is, can we convert him to a striker? That's going to be a bit of a problem. There you go. We've signed him up. We're going to put Angus on the bench, and we will put uh, Riveros over there. Uh, we need to put him on a plan to make him a striker. How long would it take to make him a striker? I'm scared to even look at. 109 weeks. Oh my god. I think we're better off putting him on an inverted winger plan, and then just moving Riveros over here, like, slightly more. Formation's going to be a bit weird, but we'll just make it work. Riveros this way will be a winger, and that's going to be our team for the Premier League this season. Let's see how it goes. Um, we're going straight to the Champions League. First season in the Premier League, and oh my god, this is a bit mad. We finished second behind Man City, but bro, that is actually nuts. We also won a proper trophy. Let's go. The Carabao Cup will take that, and we beat City for it. Next season, we're going to be here in the Champions League. Can we win it? I don't know. We'll see. Look at the player growth on McFancy, and he's up to an 82. He went to by 12 ratings. How's that even possible? Also, our backup right back has grown well. So is Angus. Solid growth everywhere, boys. Next season, with this team, a couple of signings as well, we might just be able to win the Champions League. Honestly, I've legit lost track of which season we're in. We're in July 2028, so maybe season 6, season 7. It's a bit wild. Anyways, we're looking to improve the team. Our left wing back's 82 rated, so he's going to be the, the OG player of the squad. We're going to keep him in the team, but I think we can do well with another center. To back. So that's what we're going to bring in right now. That's convenient. Araujo's contract's expiring. L let's get him. There you go, boys. We've signed Araujo. What? Is there TikTok on our jersey? What is that even? Okay, let's put Araujo in as a team. And yup, that is looking brilliant. <laughs> Veros is just there, sticking out like a sore thumb out of position. But it works. It works. I think we could do with another midfielder as well, guys, for a bit of depth. So why not? I don't know who this guy is, but might be N'Golo Conte's regen. I don't mind signing him. He's a free agent. 87 rated, bro. He might be a starter. Not gonna lie. With these signings we're making, we might have a squad to win the Champions League this season. Let's put this guy in here. As if now he's not gonna be a starter, but if I actually convert him into a midfielder, maybe he would be then. You know what? Let, let's make him a midfielder. That's gonna help us. Ah, oh, it's gonna take 51 weeks. Miguel Aziz is gonna be starter. We'll just keep him in there. That's our team, though. I'm really hoping Rushworth can stay fit for the whole season. I think we can win the Champions League if he stays fit because we don't have a good backup keeper. All right, boys, we're getting through this season. Could it be the season we win the Champions League? We're at the end of the season and we do end up winning the Premier League from starting with a one overall squad. We're now here seven, eight seasons down the line. Let's go. The important thing is how have we done in the Champions League? And it looks like we have topped our group. We managed to knock out Inter. We've gotten through Spurs. We knocked out and destroyed PSG and we're in the Champions League final. We win this, we complete the video. But we have a problem, guys, and it's one that could end up costing us. Rushworth is injured.
good. And he's our only good keeper. He's got a sprained knee. He's also signed a deal with Arsenal. What a betrayal. We're going to have to use Dibble in the Champions League final. I can't believe it. I'm going to be using a 41 rated keeper in the Champions League final. I'm glad we're playing a five at the back formation because we will need it. Let's hope we can just avoid conceding shots. The strategy this game is clear. Do not concede chances because if they shoot from anywhere, they're probably going to score. Oh my God. We've given them their first chance. We've given them their first chance. Dibble, 41 rated keeper making a save. Yo, he might be good after all. The Di Maria or Messi regen, whoever you want to call him. He goes for a finesse shot. Oh, oh, we could get lucky. We get so lucky, bro. What is happening in this game? The deflection of dreams and we make it 1-0. Guys, my camera just stopped recording uh, at this point, but we conceded a silly penalty. So there you go. That's what happened. Ja Felix scores. Mr. One rated keeper. He, he was not reaching that. Well, here we go. Here we go. Chance to get the lead back in the game. That's a brilliant chip at the post. Denies us. Okay, why are we leaving so much open space? Do we literally want to get destroyed? Because this guy shoots and we're going to concede. Oh my god, Ja Felixia. This is a problem. This is a problem. We somehow survived that. We somehow do. Free kick. If I was Ja Felix, I'd be going for goal. And that's exactly what he's doing. Bro, Timbal can catch the ball. Here we go. McFadzine. He was one overall at one point. We might have a chance here. Oh, how have we not scored that? That's full time and it's 1-1. If this goes to penalties... With the 41 rated keeper, I think the only option we'll have is to cry. Uh-oh, we've been opened up. We've been opened up. No! Oh, now we're on the back third. We might have a chance here. Antonio Blanco. Antonio Blanco. Cut back. Please make it work. We need to make this work. Options aren't there a lot. We're moving the ball around well inside their box. Ball's played in for Renato Sanchez. And he's won the header. How on earth have we pulled that off? Look at the time. Bro, this is insane. Two all. No way. This is going to penalties with a 41 rated keeper. Dibble, you've got a chance to be a hero. We need to be literally scoring each and every one of our penalties, hands down. First one, we've put in the back of the net. Come on, Dibble. Come on. I know you're terrible, but you still can... No. Reaction times are so bad. So bad. How are we going to pull this off? I have no idea. We need to literally score each and every one of our penalties and just somehow hope that we can get a save in. Oh, they're scoring every one of them. This is horrendous. Absolutely horrendous, boys. If we miss, it's over. Well, we're scoring, and that's the lucky thing. We need Atletico to miss one of their penalties, boys. Honestly, that's the only way. That's the only way, because I can't save a single penalty with a 41-rated keeper. And we've missed. It's over. We're not winning it this season. A 41-rated keeper is just awful. Literally awful. Oh my god, he's gonna cost us this entire video, man. Honestly, we've scored. We now need Dibble to make the save. Can he make the save is the real question. Dibble, please, to save us. Oh, no. oh my god, he's actually made a save. He saved us. We're, we're still alive somehow. We're still alive somehow, but we need to score this one. We do. It's now basically sudden death. Dibble, please, please be the hero you were meant to be. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. But Sudden Death is still on. Sudden Death is still on. Araujo, put this one top ins, mate. Oh my god, that was so close to being wide. Dibble, please. Dibble, save us. Save us, you legend. Oh, pain, pain, pain. Gallardo, I'm going left. I'm going left. I'm going left. You'll love to see that. We keep scoring. But Dibble needs to make a save. When is Dibble going to make a save? He's made one save so far. He's missed! I'm sorry, he's missed! We've done it! We've done it! A 41 rated keeper has helped us win the Champions League. Unbelievable! We've completed the challenge. A one overall team to the Champions League. I want you guys to go down in the comments and, and, and put Dibble is the GOAT. You guys need to do it because Dibble just did the impossible. There's the Champions League, boys. We did it. We've won the Champions League. Pretty much a squad that was won overall eight seasons ago. And now it's this. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe. I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.